Why silver is the hardest rank in Valorant? If you were to ask me what rank it's hard to get out of, I would probably say silver. If you're just a beginner, getting to silver is easy, but getting out of it can be a nightmare. Staying hard stuck in it is what so many people are experiencing currently. In this video, I will list some main reasons why. Number one, competitiveness. Silver players are at that level where they are all trying to get to gold or higher. They've probably been hard stuck for a while and thus take the game more seriously than anyone else. Silver players are surprisingly good. Maybe they have really good aim but are lacking game sense and maybe they've mastered their agent but lack the aim or lack the movement or something. Either way, this makes silver players really hard to deal with. Another thing that makes it competitive are smurfs. Now you might think that oh, it's been 4 years since this problem arose in silver. Well, it's here and it will always be here. And I think it's due to plat players just having the urge to smurf and they usually end up in silver or gold. Smurfs just make the game worse. If I was playing against them, it's the worst feeling since you can't do anything about it really and it's just unfair. If they're on my team, I just feel like I'm not contributing enough and it makes me feel useless. Like, I feel a lot better if I'm like the match MVP on a losing team than like the bottom frag on a winning team. But I don't know about you guys, but that's just me. Anyways, Smurfs just make the game worse in general. Overall, the competitiveness of Silver just takes the cake. You get out aimed or beaten by the best setups you can find they're on like plat or diamond level and they're just in silver because they don't have good game sense or something that doesn't match their level. Overall this just makes you feel like you're bad at Valorant and that others are too good when in reality a lot of the time it's just the rank system that makes silver specifically elo hell. Number 2. Toxicity. I've never been to a rank that's more toxic than silver. Since people want to get into gold get back to gold or are hard stuck, you'll hear some of the most frustrating players at this rank. There's people complaining about smurfs, about how they deserve to be in plat, which 90% of the time people complaining kind of deserve to be in silver because they don't realize that their game sense is pretty bad or their comms is bad and that's what's holding them back. I've also had games where people just don't talk, even less than iron. Iron players at least chat because they enjoy the game for its social aspects instead of sweating to get into gold. Plat or diamond players talk because they know that it's essential to win matches with comms. In between those ranks, it's kind of a shithole. Sometimes people just talk to yell at someone for not peeking with them or something. And it's honestly funny but kind of sad if you really think about it. And the funniest part is like a lot of the toxic people, they don't even deserve to be in plat anyways because like why are they hard stuck in the first place? Number 3. Player Distributions Valorant's distribution is so that the vast majority of players are in either silver or gold. Yeah, it may seem like silver is a super low rank, but even when you're silver 3, you're about average. Valorant's ideal distribution is this. Since if you reach plat, you actually feel accomplished since you're in the top 20 to 30% of the player base. Silver seems fit for the average rank in my opinion, and I think Riot does a good job doing this. Like I was in plat in Fortnite after like a day of grinding, and I didn't feel accomplished at all because the majority of players were in the top two to three rank brackets. So like, if you picture it as Valorant, as like 90% of the Valorant player base being like Immortal, Radiant, and Diamond. That's basically Fortnite, which you don't really feel accomplished then if you are an Immortal, for example. I think that's kind of stupid of um, Fortnite and Epic Games, but I do award Riot for not having rank inflation, and that plat is actually a place for decent players who have a lot of experience in the game. And it feels like you can be proud of being plat, and unfortunately that does make Silver more competitive as just so many people in Silver, and so many people trying to get out of Silver. Honestly, if I knew the distributions, I would be really proud of myself if, even if I was gold 3. But since a lot of people just want to grind and grind and just achieve more, I mean, which I understand, that's, but that is a driving force in when it comes to a lot of the toxicity around the silver and gold range. 
especially in silver. Alright guys, to be honest, I feel a lot for you hard stuck silvers. Many of you are good, but just missing something, like one piece of skill, whether it's mastering an agent or a movement or something. Most of the time, it's probably not the spurs that are the problem, because over time, like let's say over a two to three week period, for example, if you are deserving of gold, you will get to gold, you know? Like why are players able to get a diamond after creating a new account? Well, they're just good. You can't really blame smurfs or the skill level of your teammates all the time. But I'm just saying that smurfs and the toxicity of silver just make it all that much worse and all that much competitive. And that's this idea for this video. You guys definitely have enough potential to push through this rank and it's definitely the hardest rank I've had to push through and that's for sure. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.